Please tell us about your company. Uh, our company is the Mithanlal Marketing uh, Company, started in 1933 by my grandfather. And now it's a fourth generation company and 85 year old and we are all over the world. We have a factory in um, Africa and offices in Hong Kong and India. And our company deals in all kind of paper and paper board uh, made in this uh, planet. Please tell us about current paper trading market scenario the current trading market scenario is uh, very good all the traders and the paper mill which were uh, struggling in the last few years now they have uh, make up and is going to grow the way the indian paper mill are improving their product so the import will be uh, less and less in uh, most of the grade and we have opened a division for the export and we are exporting the huge paper from India to different countries and we have our own offices and factories in Africa and Middle East so we are also buying the paper for our own converting units and uh, stock and trade. So paper look to be a good in the future because a lot of uh, uh, substitutes of the plastic are coming up in the packaging and different articles. So paper is going to boom for another decade so because it doesn't have any uh, replacements. In recent months, many paper mills have faced the severe heat of high waste paper prices. How is the market of waste paper now and how long the price instability will be remain? It is only not on the waste paper if you see all the commodities world over it happened and it is basically happened due to the logistic imbalance the world over because of the shipping lines and uh, it is not uh, I think going to be improved is uh, the logistic is going to be improved it's going to change and if the price are increased the mills have increased the price the main challenge what they're facing right now is the energy and the same is uh, same is faced uh, in Europe also the so waste paper may not be a challenge is going to uh, is out in few months price are the different because mill are having only a cost of the conversion so whatever they buy they sell it in paper import and exports the logistic cost plays an important role in deciding the prices now buyers in other countries are looking for alternate source of paper suppliers because paper from india is getting costier due to the logistic cost what do you think no, no, it's not like that because if you see the the whole planet, the Asia is the manufacturing unit of the most of the grades, and even China is, is uh, exporting and India is exporting for all the India mill. It's a golden opportunity to have their international presence. So freight is go up and down, but it depends. But it, even if you see the last decade and the current years, India paper uh, mills have exported uh, drastically, and lot of new capacity is coming up. I don't see any challenge. Uh, in the exports other than the little bit of the logistics what future market scenario you are looking for white grade paper especially in India amid hike in imported pulp prices and demand generated post COVID no, the, the paper is going to be imported if you so if you see the internationally the pulp indicated mill at, at 150 to 200 dollars they have a like a conversion cost so I'm not seeing any depressed market or the low market I'm looking a very good market at India in the white grades because India even if you see the whole lot only the two grades are exporting a lot like all the white they uncoated free sheet and the FBB I'm not seeing, seeing any drop because our most of the business is outside India and we are connected with the whole of the uh, mills in America, South America, Asian mills and we are not seeing any drop in the price. It is a, it is a temporary slowdown but we are looking uh, a very good future. Nowadays it has been seen that many big traders, big converters and non-paper groups are coming up in the paper manufacturing just to enhance their in-house profit and stability in paper supply as you are fourth generation company so are you planning to set up a paper manufacturing unit 
we are we are uh, uh, already uh, manufacturing unit in the name of MLG industry from where we convert 4,000 tons a month and within two years we are going to have 12,000 12, tons a month but we are going for the offline coating we are not having any plan for making a paper mill because our company policy not to go in a very high capex we just looking for a low capex and our plan is to coat and go forward integration make some end use product and export to the different countries or within the country so we are a different vertical in the manufacturing but we have no plans maybe in the near future for a paper mill many paper mills who have been manufacturing white grade paper now they have changed their product mix and included craft paper also do you think this is a temporary phase of making craft paper by white grade paper manufacturers or looking at current scenario have white grade paper manufacturers transform themselves to make craft paper you know it it fine it is the right decision because now the demand of the wood free or the writing printing is temporary because and it is balanced by the export so do, domestic is not so much word over the lot of paper mill has been changed over because it looking the craft and the packaging uh, demand is increasing a lot as compared to the uncoated uh, wood free demand so there is the right decision what they taken up lot of lot e-commerce or different packaging or the food takeaway everything is coming into the craft so that is the right decision the mill has uh, taken up to switch over the uh, craft even in the US and Europe lot of paper mill has uh, changed over so it's a, it's a right decision they uh, take because uh, this uh, writing printing maybe uh, the way the digitalization is moving maybe in couple of years it may be gone to the electronic media it has been predicted that the price of imported OCC may touch US dollar 450 by the end of 2022 do you think this is a right prediction or just a rumor? OCC and all this uh, raw material price is driven by the pulp. So it is a commodity like the stock market. So I don't have a prediction, but I don't think any softness uh, on the price level. It depends how the international logistics uh, move. It depends on that. So I don't see, I cannot predict anything on that, uh, on the OCC uh, prices on that. It depends how the US behaves and logistic uh, is ease out or, because even in, uh, today the most of the OCC you see they have a, a domestic consuming all the US mill all over the world the, all the mills are more and more toward the recycling so going for the less pulp price may increase uh, maybe 400 or 350 but it depends on all the logistic scenarios there is a news that European Union is going to regulate the waste shipments to other countries by 2025 and China who is setting up many big waste paper recycling units in Europe just to consume many imported waste paper grades as much as possible. Now both factors create a nightmare for Indian paper mills who are dependent on imported waste paper. How do you see the survival of Indian paper industry? Oh, even if you see the whole import uh, from the Europe, there is not so much uh, uh, OCC imports. If OCC import is mainly from the US. Only the NCC in the brown grade import from the Europe. I think it don't make any difference on that because still the in US uh, it's uh, available. So it doesn't make any changes. And if the price driven, I think that is all driven by the pulp and it's a commodity. If the things change, Indian Indian paper mill won't face any problem because they are working on the conversion margins. What paper grades does MLM offer to buyers out of India and buyers in India? Our business model is entirely different. Uh, we do started uh, six months back our uh, one of the division in the pulp and uh, waste paper and we are coming in a big way in the stock and trade of the pulp of the different grades all over the world. In the waste paper, we are just looking for the helping out the mill, importing the waste paper in our own company, sending the paper mill to convert and send the paper back to us. But uh, what are the waste paper is available, we will offer to the different paper mills uh, in the near future. We are just growing. Uh, I did this business 10 
one year back but we are coming it again due to some logistic challenge we are facing some issues but whatever is available what the Indian paper mill needs we're going to offer them in next month onwards our business model is uh, we are already starting uh, the wood free exports but our business model is like uh, to uh, have a stock and trade in Africa and the South America we own the company overseas in a different country we import the Indian paper or the European paper bring to our warehouses and sell it what feature of paper industry do you see in next five years it will grow packaging will grow and uh, the good part of it is it go to India because due to this pandemic or the COVID or the China situation now the Indian mill have been recognized world over for the exports so there's a lot of chances of uh, having uh, the industry will grow domestically and the export and due to the policy of the China one all the country is uh, looking for the alternate source from the China so there's a good chance of the booming uh, in the paper industry in India I have, I have not seen any softness anywhere Thank you.